My name's uh, Jean Sebastian. I go by Nate. Um, I've been at Pierce College since 2015, either I think winter, maybe fall. So I started in the PCAD program and finished and got my high school diploma and now I'm going through the kinesiology program to get the associates in kinesiology and go on through into um, a four year. My experience with, with PCAD began because I didn't get my high school diploma. Um, I was taken out of school at a pretty early age, around like 13, 14, and had to take care of family issues, had to help raise a niece, and I just, life started happening to me. Everything started mounting on me, I think, as I got older, just like I was failing and couldn't go back to it, and you know, I'd have to go get my GED, and for a person like me, going into taking a GED, I think, especially as the years got on, just started seeming like it would be the thing that would prove to me that I was a failure. If I failed that test, it would be the proven factor that I wasn't measuring up. So I moved out here 2008. I hadn't been in school for over 20 years in a real high school. Um, my girlfriend actually started going to Pierce College. She's in the vet tech program. She found the program and I figured, I guess, you know, give it a shot because at least it was something that wasn't just me sitting down for one test that was gonna finalize and cement what I had felt. So I entered into the program and completed it in a year. It's probably the best decision I, I'm sure in my adult life that I've made because I mean I don't think most people realize what it feels like to be not a high school dropout but just someone whatever whatever happened to you in life whether you decided not to go because of stress or money situations or family situations it starts making you feel like you're not you're not the same level as everyone else. But when you don't do it, and you're my age now, which is like 40, I'll be 41 this year, you know, you're growing up and you've got, I've got nieces, nephews that look up to me, and how do you look at them and tell them that getting an education is important? That going in and doing those things and getting, you know, doing that for yourself to, so you can get a career is important when I haven't done it. And it's hard to look at yourself in the mirror and believe in yourself and think that you're worth something when you know that the, the best that you can do lies beyond what you figured that you've already done in your means at that point. Because without a diploma, you've got, you've got very little chance to do anything. But for me, I didn't have the belief in myself. And this program, going through PCAD and getting the diploma, has given me the belief back in myself. So it's been instrumental in me changing my life around and giving myself goals again. So now that I'm here, I feel like I have a different level of reality. I have dreams I can go for. I have a career that I can go for. I can change my mind. I can learn new things. And I'm proving to myself every day that, you know, it's, it's not the end of the road for me. Because there are programs out here like this that can help you get there. And there's so much support at this school from the faculty and administration. Um, every teacher I've come across has been incredibly encouraging that program. I'm in the kinesiology program. So I'm learning to be a personal trainer. And that's either you could do the certificate program or the, the two year that brings you into, get your associate's degree and will get you all of your prerequisites so that you can go into a four year college. So that's the direction I'm on right now to try to go into a four year. I don't know what college I'll go to because I'm trying to be very cautiously optimistic with myself. <laughs> Make sure I get the grades first and then, you know, next year I can really be focusing on where I'll be going with it. Yeah, I would just like to tell people that whatever it is that they've got in their head about themselves, to let it go. Because it's not true. All, those stu all the stuff that you tell yourself every day about, oh, I can't do this anymore or I'm too old to go back to school and... You know, I'm just going to be stuck in whatever dead-end job that you've put yourself in because you feel like it's your duty to your kids and whatever else. That's great. You've got a job. You're supporting your kids. You can do something else. You can always come back. I'm meeting people here that are in their 50s, 60s, and they're changing their career path. And this college helps you do it. The people here will help you do it. 